Cleveland police hunt for man in Facebook murder. Suspect posted on social network a video of him shooting an elderly victim. Cleveland police and the FBI were hunting for a shooter who killed an elderly man in broad daylight and posted a video of it on Facebook. I found somebody I'm about to kill, the man said in the video, as he pulled his Ford Fusion to the side of a road in East Cleveland about 2 p.m. Sunday. I'm about to kill this guy right here. He's an old dude, the man said as he confronted Robert Godwin Sr., 74, who was walking on the sidewalk. Can you do me a favor? The man said to Godwin before asking that he say the name of a woman. She's the reason this is about to happen to you. The shooter, who police suspect is Steve Stevens, 37, then asked Godwin's age before killing him. The interaction lasted less than a minute. The two men did not know each other, police said. Stevens said in the video that he has killed more than a dozen people, police said though they have announced no other victims. Authorities searched Sunday night across the Cleveland area for the suspect, who they said is African-American, 6 foot 1, bald and has a full beard. Police said he was driving a white Ford Fusion with the temporary Ohio plate E636360. The video of Sunday's homicide was not posted live as police had initially stated. It was viewable on Facebook for about three hours before it was removed, and Stevens's profile was deactivated. Facebook allows any user to live stream video from their phones. A service started in 2015. As live videos have gained an audience and prominence, some have questioned how the company should best control for potentially horrific scenes. The video is likely to reignite a debate about the haunting reach of grisly violence in the Internet age, and follows shocking beatings and killings shared in real time on a global stage. Three men were shot last year in Norfolk, Virginia, while one was broadcasting live on Facebook from inside the car. And in 2015, a shooter killed a TV journalist and her cameraman during a live TV broadcast before posting his own video of the killing on Facebook.